Hello, and welcome to this video on global confluence templates. Before I knew this feature existed, I found myself making the same template in every space I used. This was incredibly annoying because if I wanted to update it, I had to go into multiple places to change the template. My other option was to use that little selector to change the space that I'm in, which was annoying because I had to remember to do it all the time and sometimes I just wouldn't. So I ended up using the wrong template. So. Here, I'm going to show you how you can make global confluence templates that are visible from any space in your instance. Let's jump in and see what it looks like. Here we are in Confluence Cloud Premium, although this will work in any version of Confluence that you have access to, including things like Data Center or even the free one. The only thing you need to make this work is to be a Confluence admin. So if you're just a space admin, you won't see this setting. All I'm going to do is go to my space and click on space settings and then look for templates under look and feel. And here we can see all the templates in this space. I have some user created ones, for example, the project background template, but these are only visible in this one space. So if I go to make a new page, I can use it as long as I'm in the Robert Heen space and I can see it. However, if I try to use this in a different space, it either won't show up or I'd have to click this drop down to pick the space it lives in. And this is really hard for most people to remember. They don't know where that template lives. They just want to do their job. So I'm going to go back to my template screen and I'm going to scroll all the way to the bottom. Now, I didn't know this existed because it was hidden underneath all of the blueprints, all of the templates that Confluence just gives us. But way down here at the bottom, I have global page templates. Again, you have to be a Confluence administrator to see this, but if you are, you can click Manage Global Templates, and now you can control templates across your Confluence instance. You'll notice I'm no longer in my space. I'm now in the admin panel. And here I can see I have a global template that's available across every space, and I can also disable or edit the blueprints that come with Confluence. So if I know all of my teams really use the Team Calendar's blueprint, I can modify it to make it better for them, or I could even turn off templates I know they're never going to use. Global templates are otherwise exactly like regular templates. If I go in and edit them, it will appear exactly like I'm creating a brand new template. I have the same ability to format it. I have the same placeholder text that I can add. And I have the same ability to add things like variables to help speed up my content creation. So from here, I can add a new one. I can delete existing ones, edit them, or add descriptions to make it more useful. So let's jump back into a space and see if I see that global template. Here I am in the Robert Heen space. I'll just go to create a page. I'll click all templates and I'll just type in global. And here we can see that global template. Let's jump to a different space just to see. I'll go over to heen.tech. I'll create a new page. I'll look under all templates and I'll type in global. And here is that same exact template. So again, we get to this from space settings, templates, and then way at the bottom, as long as I'm a Confluence admin, I see this, I can click manage global templates. And it also lives in my settings from that admin panel. So if you have this access, I highly recommend you take time to go in and create global templates for your team. Also disable these blueprints that you aren't using. They just take up space. So that's it. That's global templates. If you liked it, please like the video, share it with some folks, and I really appreciate you sticking around to learn about global templates. And I hope to see you here again soon.